So, so, so I gotta ask um, because you 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 spoke about so much, <laughs> and you know it raises so many questions with me. Number one, uh, it, it's it's staggering to think that in 2023 there's no national database uh, for many of these cases. That that it's it's almost insane to well, you yeah, know, I, I, conceive this. Sean, you're actually right. We have databases for how many people get gonorrhea. We have <laughs> exactly. databases for auto accidents. We have databases for suicide. Uh, the one thing uh, we don't have the database uh, clearly, and this is clearly is uh, how many people die in, in police encounters. And um, it was interesting. Th this has been known for a while. Back in 2013, the Congress, the United States, passed a bill uh, uh, in, in Congress that all deaths in police encounters should be reported to the Justice Department. And a few months ago, a few months ago, the, um, uh, the GAO, the Government Accounting uh, Agency, uh, issued a report, they investigated those cases, and they said two things. One, that most police agencies would, wouldn't report any deaths. Uh, that they found. And secondly, whatever deaths were reported, the Justice Department said can't be released to anybody, Congress or anybody, uh, uh, in order for them to be useful in trying to, uh, to uh, prevent the deaths, to, to, to uh, make uh, laws and uh, you know, regulations for reporting. And, uh, and that the reporting of deaths was, was um, uh, uh, voluntary. They didn't have to report it. They they reported and and then of course the Justice Department said that even if they were the ones we reported, we can't report to any let anybody know about unless Congress allow you know allows us to. So it's been a nothing nothing has happened with with uh, that uh, uh, weak attempt to get gather data. And the thing is that you, it it can't be released from the from the police department. The police department in the, in the great majority of deaths. Uh, Ninety percent of deaths, in my experience, of um, people during police encounters. The police investigation shows well. The police officers did, did everything according to uh, uh, policy and protocols. Um, you know, the, so I'm, they I'm don't sorry, report anything. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I said I'm sorry for interjecting, but it, even as you're saying that, it makes me think because you're right. You know, we have seen for years, uh, and we we have known for years that many of the deaths, and, and there, there are a lot of great police officers out there, like let, let's start there, that do their right. job, um, they, they, they do it by the book. But we also know in cases like Eric Garner, which you mentioned earlier, like that, that was another one caught on video. Um, right. and, and, and so many others, we know that there, there are deaths caused by the police at the hands of the police that we see with our own eyes that either in the past, and, and, and don't get me wrong, the world is changing, but in the past, it seems like you can never prove it even in a court of law. And, and it just, it, it's staggering to think, uh, you know, and again, you mentioned earlier because you put so much in, 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 into what you were saying about uh, from your standpoint as a forensic pathologist, death starts at the scene of the crime, or it, it starts at the scene um, of right. death itself. Right. I, I never understood how so many of, of cases that we knew, it's obvious this, this, this was caused by another person's hand, even in, in, in a court with a jury, it was found that, that, you know, police acted in in their right. And, and it's just insane. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.